Hey guys, today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy XII. Last time we had some fun doing some side content, got a little cactus dancing in, and today we're going to get back to the main story. Hope you guys enjoy. See you in the comments. Whoa, look at this bridge. Look at this. Oh, this must be the silken wood or whatever. Sil sil Silica wood. The Silica wood. Ooh, looks very green. A nice mossy green. Oh, I love it already. I love this place already. And I hear piano. Wow. I just love the the colors here. Like it's all green, but it's all different all different shades of green. Look at the flowers. They made they it's there's so much depth in the in the textures and everything even though they're all green. Very vibrant. Hello little one. I won't kill any more of the cute bunny people. The word word hair. They are weak to fire, though. Kind of tempted to just burn them. <laughs> All right. All right, small little section there. There's a community of hunters on the Fawn Coast. I came here thinking to join them, but my way is blocked. Should you head east from this forest? Well, to the east. Well, to the east, you will find an old gate. Beyond that, the Fawn Coast. Trouble is, the gate's broken. Some Mughals were fixing it, but I have some doubt as to their industry in this matter. When will the gate be open? There being nothing to do about it, I returned here. Of course, now I've dropped my map of the wood too. The fates spit upon me, surely. I'm sorry, bro. If I find your map, I'll make sure to keep it for myself. Don't worry. Oh, look at them. Forest bungalow. Ooh, a visitor, Kupo? We're here working on the gate up ahead. Well, not actually right now. Right now we're resting. Aw, oh, you guys... You guys rest. Alright, we're going further north. Okay. I hope this Salika wood place isn't too small. Let's see. Oh, well, we don't have a map, so we can't really tell how big this area is gonna be. Ha. Okay, yeah. who's Who's, who here has this as their favorite area? Because I think this might end up being mine. We'll see though. I also really like the desert. With the... Uh... Let's see what's up here. The desert that was like Star Wars. Whoa! These ferns, they look like coral I feel like I'm underwater this is a place where like you could it looks like you could just feel the magic in the air you know from what you've seen you say you'd say it's your favorite so far 
That's what I'm thinking. Look at that flower. Look at these plants over here. I have a thing for treetop areas like this, so I'm a little bit biased. Yes, there's more to explore. There aren't a lot of enemies or creatures that are um that are mean too. Lots of friendly creatures roaming around. It just feels very peaceful. Ooh, we have another building here. Wow, this place is very, very maze-like. I really want to just open this chest right now. Thank you. Marlboro King? Well, he <laughs> wasn't much, was he? Wait, where was... Oh, yeah, here. Oh, is this where the Moogles live? Ah, They're all in their little bungalows. These guys are also working on the gate up ahead. Are you guys too? I guess it's a communal effort. All the Moogles are working on that gate. <gasps> Look, we're near the... I don't know if I could say that this is the bottom. It looks like the trees are still going down. Wow. But we hit some water, it looks like. At least. The Wookiee Planet Kashyyyk with um, three Ys, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So this reminds you of Endor or Kashyyyk? Yeah. I can definitely see that. I'm just having fun. I'm having fun. Oh, we made it to a crystal, but let's try to loop. Let's try to connect this area here Ooh, look at these hanging flowers and look at these leaves or whatever they look like clam shells this this place has a very underwater like feel to it I got charm. Ooh, I got charm. Oh, I thought this would connect to that area down there, but I guess not. If I don't find those layabouts and get them back on the job soon, the boss will have our pom-poms! I don't think anyone's laying about beyond here, though. With bombs on the road, the next break you could take could be your last! We made it to the crystal! Alright, where to now? Let's see what's up here. Is this the bridge? Oh, it's the bomb! The big ba bomb! Oh, and it's little bomb children! Ah, we're fighting a story boss. Okay. First one in a while. Let's go after little bombs first. Fran is using her water. That's good. 
Keep attacking now. Keep attacking. Keep on going. What the hell? 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 We're dying. Okay, okay, okay. Handkerchief. Actually, fuck. Um. Elixir. What the hell? Elixir fully restores allies HP in it. Why didn't it work? After bomb C. Shit. What level are you? Do I not have Libra on? Oh, oh, oh quickening, quickening. Well, maybe I should revive Pinello. Do you think we could? why my elixir didn't do anything all right hold on hold on hold on uh phoenix down nello okay she's alive fran is oh, oh, gonna die okay oh but the quickening it takes a while to do Should be doing some good shit to them, right? Got a surprise for you. Okay. 
Okay, while he's taking forever to do that, use the handkerchief on Anello. How about some of this? Got a surprise for you. I think that's all of our charges. Here goes. Oh, there's more. More we can do. Ha! I got it. There's more. You're going down. No, nope, that's it. Pyro! What if that heals him? Hopefully it's all non-elemental damage. to slow him I'm not sure yeah. missed oh no he made more babies kill the baby oh my god of MP at some point. Okay, so Fran can use Aqua. I could use... Vaughn could use maybe um, Numerology. Increase damage with his successive hits. And then keep using Aqua and I guess you keep healing. Is numerology on now? One, three, one, two. I don't think he's doing more damage with successive hits. Where are you going? You fucking bitch. Bomb L. Maybe if we get to the end of the alphabet, there won't be any more babies. <laughs> We're leveling up. 
Oh, we're getting experience from all this. Hell yeah. How much LP per baby? One LP per baby. I'm gonna see what happens when we get to the end of the alphabet. If it resets back to A, then um, I'm just gonna have to target the the big one, I guess. Oh, we're we're all oiled and dying. Oh no. to take it off but it didn't work Handkerchief. do here okay attack m bomb m okay oh my god Why are we putting Lore on Ash? She's not even the party leader. Doesn't make sense. he starts spawning guys so we're gonna just try to get him to like halfway keep going after him keep 
going after him. He's not running. He's not running. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. Shit, did I wait too long? King bomb. Use the quickenings. Fuck these guys. Please, use as many as we can. Let me show you how it's done. Please show me how it's done. Heads up. Him. Uh, send him to a black hole. I never miss. Okay, he's got to die from this. I must endure. <laughs> it just keeps going. Come on. like the hardest boss what level was that thing okay let's talk guys first of all what level was that thing that was the hardest story boss that i fought that thing was level 33 what level am i oh god we're all dead um let's go back to our healy crystal here level 34 so what is the strategy because i my strategy worked eventually but i don't not think i do not think i had the best strategy there <laughs> missed him before he uses renew oh is that where he did the full charge hp stuff bullshit or whatever There's like Christmas ornament berries up there. Look at it. They look like little Christmas baubles. The full heal. So I did use a quickening on him. 
but like early on but it didn't kill him and then he eventually used renew very sad times you slowed him till he died oh yeah i did get a slow on him once but then all hell started breaking loose can full heal itself twice so putting sad oh so it would eventually he would have stopped healing so putting status effect on him to prevent that like what slow what other status effects could we put on that guy babies like what happens if you get to z does it go back to a just exploring a little bit silence on him the thing is like a lot of status effects just don't uh, don't ever work on bosses in these games which is really frustrating because it works on trash mobs but trash mobs you can just kill them usually with auto attacks so it's like oh seems pointless to use the other status uh or things on them silence works on him you remember silence works on him but some guys say his renew works even even if he's silenced where are we the Salika wood living chasm We're like outside or on the outskirts of the wood, at least. Looking in. I'm on the outside. I'm looking in. Because inside you're ugly, ugly like me. Once the gate's fixed, everybody will be able to go to the Fawn Coast Coupeau. It'll take a little while longer yet. That is, if my nine missing apprentices ever come back from the Silica Wood. We'll never finish repairs like this. They're probably loafing in the Silica Wood bungalow. Still nine missing. Ah, uh, so this is where... We're... This Is this the... The gate that needs repair? So now that we killed that bomb, maybe we could talk to the coop, the little moogles and uh, they'll, they'll go back to work. Something like that. I should take a break, but I want to just... I can't put the controller down. It's glued to my hand. What time is it? 6.51. Alright, we'll take a break around in the next 10 minutes or so we have another hunt that we we need to find around here oh now the bungalows are marked on our map on the gate up ahead except right now we're taking a break actually what the boss wants us uh oh kupo we'd better go he is ugly when he gets mad bye bye kupo oh there's still seven us seven of us on break out there all right 
this should be easy. The bomb was actually optional at this point. But don't you need it to get the Mughals to go back to their post? To kill it? Because they didn't go back until I killed it. Or how does that work? Uh, we got a map but i think i cleared this whole place already on my own practically well maybe not that part up there all right let's get us some moogles back to their post You just needed to talk to the guy at the gate to trigger. Oh, that makes sense. I see. Get along, little moogles. Get along. Look at their little outfits. We gotta go this way. That bomb is optional. Oh, makes sense. Why he was so tough then. Moogles to go. Found all the Moogles. Come with us to the gate. Okay. Let's go. My apprentices are all back. The repairs took no time at all, Kupo. Witness the power of Moogles. Whoa. That is a contraption. Aw. Look at that. We're off to the... Sorobi step next, Kupo. Once we're done fixing the windmills there, we'll put one back at the tavern in Balfoheim. Balfenheim, Kupo. Nothing better than a job well done, Kupo. I'm headed off to the Sorobi step for a job, and then it's vacation time. We're off to do some repair work in the Mosforn Highways next, Kupo. You're repairing what? Better ask the overseer wherever he is. When we put our minds to it, me, we moogles get things done. Next stop, the Moss Foreign Highways. Repairs are finished, Kupo. We're off to our next job site. Wish the Sorobi step wasn't so far away. Thanks to you, the repair gates are finished. The repairs to the gates are finished, Kupo. Here's a token of our gratitude. A sash. The Fawn Coast is up ahead, Kupo. Pretty views there, but the locals, not so pretty. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, bye, Salika Woods. I'll be back. Oh, actually, 
Okay, you can take a peek into either the new areas split off in this direction. You can get a small cutscene. Wouldn't recommend staying for long though. Wouldn't recommend staying for long. Oh, these two areas here? Alright, so we can take a peek over this way. The necro hole of Nabudi. We've heard about this. This is all that remains of Nabudis. Two years ago, it was destroyed utterly by a mysterious force. I don't know why I've been the thinking that S is silent. Shard. This? In just two years? How? As the Dawn Shard brought down the Leviathan and her fleet, a fell mist spilled forth. It is like the same thing happened here. The Nethersite's mist has corrupted the life of this place. It is a necrohall overrun with beasts. We tread here on a fool's errand. We had best turn back. Is it revenge that you desire? Yes or no? Not this way lies the capital. The road to Arcades leads east of Selika Wood, beyond the Fon Coast and Sita Uplands. did it I just want to see what level this stuff is Level 47. Oh, no. Okay, bye. This be the way. The stream flew quick. It did. It doesn't feel like it's been nearly four hours. Oh, they all left. Next stop, Nabudis. I hear we're off to the Necro Hall of Nabudis next, but there's monsters there, big ones. Oh no, don't go there. Don't go there. You don't go there, Moogles. It's not nice. Ooh. Fawn Coast. It would seem we made the right choice. If we'd taken the easy way and come by airship, one of those patrols would no doubt have been quick to roll out the red carpet. We're on the Empire's doorstep now, so we shouldn't have to worry quite so much. But that's no excuse to get sloppy. It is still a long road to the capital. Still a long road to the capital. Ah! Dang it! We got to explore the coast a little bit. New music. 
and all that good stuff. Adventurous, happy adventure music. I do want to go to the capital now. Look at this guy. Nine gill. Nice. Ow. I thought that thing was friendly. Guess not. Do I have something that he could use? Oh, I do. I do. I do. Let me set up a gambit real quick. Gambit for Bosch. I think, yeah, he has shades of black. He could use on a flying type. So we won't always get an attack spell, but I guess it's better than him just standing there doing nothing. You chill here, minus the deadly wolf wolves. Yeah, it's beautiful. Going from the Salika wood to the Fawn Coast. It's a good time. Should we do a times two? Fire. No, the Blizzaga actually does some decent damage. It's not too bad. I thought his magic attack would be super weak because I have not been putting any points for him into magic, I don't think. You love Shades of Black? I kind of like stuff that's, that's randomized. Like, I enjoy... I enjoy playing as Kate Sith because there's like kind of like the RNG makes it kind of fun. Potentially very good. Potentially it could do like not 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 something good. We got the birdies. I'm gonna put it on times two. I don't wanna do times four in a brand new area, but I also wanna go a little bit faster than we're going right now. I think this times two and times four has kind of spoiled me a little bit. <laughs> have a thing to yeah she should oh maybe she doesn't have a flying thing that's not good we need to give it to her i could have swore i set something up nope okay um oh, we'll put it here flying
Damn, that little guy just got burnt to a crisp. Well, there's definitely a lot to explore here. Is this anybody's favorite area? Of the game. Or is your favorite area something you we've already seen, you can say, but if it's not something that we've seen yet, that I've seen in my playthrough, do not say it. Ooh, look at that. That looks nice. Here's the something I haven't seen. Shades of Black is the best when you first get it. So it's it just sucks later on. Oh, okay. That connects to that. I got a hat. Embrace the RNG. You hate the RNG stuff? I like um, putting critical on my characters, and there's a lot of RNG for that. Like, whenever there's... Whenever I could build, like, something with, like, high critical, high crit chance, I like to do that. I want to go on a vacation here. It's probably good that I'm getting some experience here. Let me check out my levels of my teams. Looks like... We could switch over to Vaughn's party, but what I would want to do here is... I think she's had the tippet for a, a while. I think Vaughn needs it now. Like we're still not there yet oh <gasps> we made it to a town though we made it to something not the capital but we made it to a little port town or something i um i need to head out soon but we'll, we're gonna play for just a couple more minutes here i want to explore a little bit around this area and check out the town Ooh, cutscene I'm guessing they're not going to have, like, my big weapon upgrades that I want. <laughs> that would be me, tripping on a grain of fucking sand. <laughs> Why the capital? That would be me. The Nethysite. I must destroy it. Are you sure? You don't want it for yourself? Use its power to restore Dalmasca? Something like that? The best intentions invite the worst kind of trouble. Lusting for ever greater power. Blinded by the Nethysite. Is that how you see me? That does sound like someone I know. He was obsessed with Nethysite. It was all he cared about. Come over here. He'd babble nonsense, hey! blind to aught but the Watch stone's it. power. 
Like I said, you talk about some Enna, or was it Vena? No matter. Thank you. Everything he did, he did to get closer to the nether side, to understand it. He made airships, weapons. He even made me a judge. You were a judge? That was unexpected. Part of a past I'd rather forget. It didn't last long. I ran. I left the judges. And him. Oh. Sidolphus Demon Bonanza. Draclo Laboratory's very own Dr. Sid. Oh. That's when he lost his heart to Nethersite. Lost himself. And I suppose that's when I lost my father. Oh, okay. Wow. Don't follow in his footsteps. He just so casually dropped all that on us. That he is from the Empire. That I ran away. he was a judge. I couldn't stand seeing him like that. A slave to that the stone. Dr. So Sid is his father. Free at last. Funny I went for the Dusk Shard. How could I have known that it was Nethersite? And then, of course, I met you. All that running, and I got nowhere. It's time to end this. Cut my ties to the past. It's hard to leave the past behind. I know. So he's been running as a sky pirate, just trying to get away from that, but he's kind of gotten roped right back into it. Oh, flashback. Marriage of convenience. Symbol of the alliance between Nebradia and Domaska. This is how they see our marriage. They do, do they? These roles we play. I must admit, I find it wearying. Is this the first time we hear him talk? I will play mine. I would have no other. surprisingly deep the voice yours it's to like make. smooth like butter but don't give your heart to a stone you're too strong for that princess i i pray you're right balthier she looks so much younger in that flashback it wasn't like um that long ago though was it like two years Okay, do they have weapons here, Max? You were saying they have upgrades? All I see is a general vendor. Oh, the general vendor has weapons! Yay! Finally! A better gun for my boy here. It only gives him plus 11. The guns don't have a high attack power, do they? Just in general. Compared to the other weapons, do they? Like, if he had a sword... Well, it is guns for, but if he had a... a, a spears for a spear, he'd get plus 52 damage. And with a guns for, he gets plus 11. They ignore defense, that's why. Ah! Okay. Okay. Alright, well, let's get some upgrades. Hell yeah. Okay, axes and hammers five. I want that, right? Rod, staff. Bastard sword. One handed sword. It'll be plus six. Ooh, a new arrow. And that's probably it for everyone. Oh, a new mace? Is that the first mace we've come across? I guess so. New mace. 
And that's it. Okay. All right, I gotta go. I think food is ready for me to eat. Okay, thank you guys. Gotta run. We just come out here for the first time. What a place. The shore seems to stretch on forever. In fact, I would have been lost if it weren't for that Moogle up the hill there. He sold me a map, sent me straight. Oh yeah, I want a map. The man who fell. Sva Svagat, er, welcome to the hunter camp, traveler. I am not a hunter myself. I do not think. Wait, did you fall from freaking what's it called? The land in the sky? I fell from a sky city, you see, and <laughs> I'm like, Svatagaram or whatever uh, is the greeting that they use up there. <laughs> and have forgotten everything from before the fall. I do not even know my own name, Vajra. <laughs> What? That's awesome. It's like 40,000 feet up. It's like 40,000 leagues under the sea, except the opposite. So you're a cartographer. Would you like to buy a map? Yes. Thank you. I need directions. Leave it to me, Kupo. I'll soon point you the right way. That's my job. First thing, there are five ways in and out of camp here, but worry not. They only go to two places. The Chita Uplands and the Salika Wood. Which way are you headed? The Chita Uplands, I guess. There are two ways out of to the Chi Chita Uplands. One runs along the coast and one cuts up through the hills. If you plan on following the coast, you'll want to leave from the east side of the camp. If you go the other way, you'll want to head off to the left. That way leads to the hills. Don't worry, no matter which way you take, you'll end up in the Cheetah Uplands, Kupo. Guaranteed. Get that? Oh, which way should we go? I feel like I want to go along the coast. Although, ultimately, we'll probably do both, you know? I hear the moneyed folk up in Arcades have taken to boasting about hunters and wagering on them. Each of them tries to pick the best hunter to sponsor. How can that possibly be fun? What are we, racing chocobo? I hear some hunters have gone up Sochin way to do battles, battle with some nasties that think they own the place. I wish them luck. From what, if what I've heard is true, they're going to need their fair share of it. I come here to hear the hunter's tales. For I'm writing a novel based on the stories they tell me. Please, if you ought to share. Hey, did you know that there's a sprawling ruin that comes up right under Arcades? It's called the Sochin Cave Palace. Fascinating place, that is. Just head out of Fawn and north across the Cheetah Uplands. That's where you'll find the entrance. Sounds like we have a lot of stuff to uh, explore up ahead. You seem like the adventurous sort, so I'll tell you something interesting. To the north of Chita Uplands, there's an ancient ruin. Everyone's talking about the fiends there, rather dangerous by the sound of it. If, say, they're so concerned, shouldn't they go and hunt the fiends themselves? I mean, they are hunters, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, you have one job, is to hunt, so go hunt! When I first heard of a camp filled with hunters, well... I imagined the worst. How surprised I was to find it quite pleasant. Perhaps you were, uh, weren't aware, but you, uh, should you leave this camp to the northeast, you'll find yourself shortly in the Cheetah Uplands. We'll soon be traveling that way ourselves, then east on to Balfenheim. Let's take a look at our world map. Oh yeah, we're still a ways away from Arcades. Look at that. You know, I was up in Arcades a while. Uh, 
street here on every corner. Knowledge is the lifeblood of that city it is. My time there prepared me for just about anything. Yes, sir. I can sift out rotten informations like a rat after cheese. Those red bongo over there are talking about going to Arcades on foot, I hear. Now, if you go from the Cheetah Uplands through Sochin Cave Palace, you can reach Arcades, all right. But the fiends in Sochin are a la nasty lot. A group of hunters just left to do something about that, I hear. I wish them luck. You know that bad breath of the Marlboros? One whiff of that stuff and you'll be reeling with ancient ailments. Nasty that. There you are, totally in control. Whole fight's going your way and then wham! You get hit with an ailment and everything goes to pot. Take care, it happened to me. It can happen to you. I believe it. What kind of information have I? Information what's beneficial to hunters, of course. Not that you'd have much need of that now, eh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you traveling by foot, perchance? Take heed of the weather, is my advice. Around here, when it rains, that's when the elementals come out. Oh, okay, good to know. All right, let's check out the Technics. We have them all. Ooh! Magic. <laughs> okay. Infuse. Faraga! Faraga! Vanishga! Render all allies in range invisible. Oh, so if you want to run, then that would be the one to do. That would be the one. Okay, I definitely want to set up the Faraga and the Aroga on our gambits. So, Ash. Farag. Oh, oh, we didn't look. Okay, can anybody use these right now? <laughs> you can. You can use it. That's probably it. He's got Fira. That he didn't have before. Fire vulnerable. And then he has... We'll give him Blazara. And Eroga. You have that? You do. You have it? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Who else wants to talk to me? What's up, Gertie? All right, I've got a fancy to get up to Arcades. Make my fortune there. That's why I'm traveling by foot. Gotta save money. Of course, now I hear that the place right before you get to the capital, some ruin by the name of Sochin something or others rife with fiends. How am I supposed to make it through that? I heard a group of hunters gone up that way, so I'll figure, I figure I'll wait for them to get back. Maybe they'll clear a path for me, eh? Or maybe they'll never return. You're awfully, you're awful young looking to be a hunter. Or are you just traveling, maybe? I thought he said you're awful looking. Like, gee, thanks. <laughs> this coast may look pretty, but the men who come here, they're here for the hunt. If it is hunting you're after, you might talk to some of them. Might learn something of value. You never know. Shady Bonga. What's that, boy? This here's a club for hunters, not children. Run along now. Huh? Listen, good boy. I don't hate your kind. I just hate you, see? So do us a favor. Leave us be, eh? Damn, what did I do to you? <laughs> What's your business here, boy? You don't look much like a hunter. Ha! This ain't no pleasure dome, boy. Keep faring, wayfarer. What are... What's wrong with you guys? 
You've got the look of a hunter about you, true, but you're a bit wet behind the ears. We're looking for sharp taloned birds of prey here, son, not spring chickens. Run along now. So I know that wet behind the ears means like inexperienced. I assume. Just from context clues, I've heard it a couple times recently. But what, where does that come from? It is a reference to newborn babies. Hey, Shamra, you were right. We're born wet with amniotic fluid, wiped by the hospital personnel. And okay, I don't need to know all the details. <laughs> oh, such babies remain wet behind the ears. Oh, so when they dry the babies off, they tend to miss the that section right behind the ears. Gotcha. But right now we got to get. I want to go. I want to go fighting. I want to go exploring. I don't know why when we came to this uh, coast, like beachy place, I was just like, let's go. <laughs> Very excited. Who's my favorite character in the party so far? Um, uh, my favorite. I like. I mean, I feel like this is maybe the the basic bitch popular opinion but Balthier and Fran are both really really cool characters Balthier has a really interesting like he's a fun personality and he's he makes me laugh and we're learning a little bit more about his past now soon which is going to be exciting but also Fran she's very mysterious both of them have like kind of a mysterious past that I want to know more about and Fran's so pretty and her voice is so so nice in her accent what do you guys who do you guys like but i i like all the characters i don't i don't find any of them boring and i love the dynamic of like all the adults are traveling and then like the two kids are kind of their entertainment like when we first arrived here and vaughn and Pinello were just playing in the in the water and stuff while the other people were talking business Vacansa, him and me were attacked by this horse monster out in the Sil uh, Silica wood and got separated. I ran for safety and happened to end up pretty close to the Fawn Coast, which is where we were heading anyways. I waited for him a while. It makes sense to wait for him here, our destination, right? That's why I went on ahead. Come to think of it, I did see a posting for that horse monster. That was him? Glad he made it. Oh, by the way, our boss left a message for Vacansa. If you see him, pass it on for me, okay? You're fired. Don't bother coming back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's nothing for you here, boy. Shopping the outfitters is a privilege, see? Yeah, whatever. Okay, is there anything else we missed here? Or should we head towards the... Uh... Wherever the place everybody was talking about. was it? Not you. The ancient ruins, yeah. Whatever they're called. Okay, so this is if we want to go to the coast, maybe? And this is if we want to go through the hills? Well, why not both? Right? Why not both? Oh, it's been an hour. Whoa, Pinello, what the hell are you? What is that? That thing is as big as you are. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let's take a break really quick. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's see what everyone's doing. So, so far, we're all attacking. Asuna. Oh, we're confused. Oh, alright, now we're not confused. Cool. Pinello's using protect. Andara. Alright, I think we have a setup that w will probably work. <laughs> Hopefully. 
<laughs> Fran! <laughs> what the hell? She just came up from behind like... Pa! Love it. Love it. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta let the other people handle this one. Whoa! What is all this? I wish you could set a gambit of like use crossbow on flying enemies only and then like once the enemy is dead then switch back it'll sw it would switch back i don't want to go into my menu every time i come to a flying enemy unless it's a a boss or something what are these vieras doing out here where do you go, Wayfair? To the east lie the Cheetah Uplands. To the north, across the plains, lies the seat of empire, Arcades. Myself, I shall go east, to the port town of Valfenheim. I've heard it's a place where men and women value freedom above all else. Um, it's interesting. The way that the Vieras are so, like, strict about... And so... It's so important for them to, like, stay in the forest. But I feel like I see more than I would expect just out and about. And they're, they have like chosen or a force to been ostracized by their people. What do we have here? The Cheetah Uplands. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably close enough, though. should be using gravity. Oh, one died. Never mind. Okay, if there's one thing I would change about this game is... <laughs> oh, I got float. Is um... It would be easier to open chests. Maybe make it a different button than and going into the menus, I don't know, but it's kind of a pain. Alright, what do we have here? Some little toady toads. What is that? Oh, it's one of those crocodile things with the weird faces. Lizard? Oh, no. Oh, 
god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, stop. It has reflect on... Oh god, <laughs> we're gonna die. <laughs> the damn thing had reflect on! We're okay. My girls know what to do. So... Let's see, do I have a spot open? Okay, I think I need to do... Um... Like I have on some of the other characters here. Attack. If foe has reflect. Oh, but then... Oh, I don't know if that would work though for like the mul the multiple enemies. Oh wait, well maybe if I put it above gravity. What am I doing? Foe. Reflect. Oops. Attack. Would that prevent him from using gravity? on multiple enemies if one of them has reflect? I don't know, I might just have to manually um, deal with that. 